Josh Spadewski would have turned 21 this month. He spent the better part of this past year working with road crews on the Court Street Bridge in Utica. It's hard work doing this work. You're out in the heat. You're out there with cars, with the exhaust, um, the dust from working the concrete. But the more I saw him, he's like, I love working this. You know, I feel good. I work hard. And, you know, when I come home and I shower and basically eat or I don't go to bed and I'm ready to roll in the morning the next day. And It gave him a reason to get up in the morning and... And when he came home, he was exhausted, but he was still so proud. And the construction of this Court Street Bridge was a huge piece in the short life of Josh Spitniewski. Our goal was to name the actual overpass he worked on, like the Josh Spitniewski Bridge. That goal faces hurdles. It's an honor reserved for fallen soldiers or an officer killed in the line of duty. Still, the bridge was such an inspiration for this young life, his memory kept alive on social media even after death. This is a tweet from Josh. It's a long story, but what made me realize my true worth, I guess, took building a bridge. But on Thanksgiving when I drove with my dad and siblings to my uncle's, we drove over the bridge we built in Utica. And when we were on it, I felt so proud, I teared all up. And I was just like, guys, I built this. And my dad started crying, smiling, looking out his window. Ever since then, I've changed somehow or something in some way significantly. Like I've been dead and I'm finally alive or something. His co-workers with the Laborers Local 35 shared stories with the family, a testament to Josh's dedication. At one point, he actually had a bleeding ulcer, and he was supposed to be treated, I believe, this month, right, for it? Today? And uh, he was showing me pictures of him throwing up blood, and he wanted to go back to work. Josh's family would like to have his memory etched eternally into this bridge. This is the general area where State DOT, as well as the local union, are talking about possibly putting up some sort of memorial. In Utica, Katrina Smith. News Channel 2.